Welcome to all of the top tech stories from Southeast Asia brought to you by Texi. Something spicy to begin our news stories today. Singaporean e-commerce firm Q10 is under investigation by South Korea's Fair Trade Commission for failing to pay $123 million to 60,000 merchants on its platform. Ticket Monster and We Make Price. Q10's aggressive acquisition of underperforming e-commerce platforms has backfired, highlighting issues in the competitive Korean market. Malaysian used cards trading platform Carsum, on the other hand, is planning an IPO and is doing really well within the next two years. CEO Eric Cheng announced at the Tech in Asia conference that the company is considering listing on Versa Malaysia, the country's stock exchange, rather than in the US. More news from Singapore. Funding Societies, it's a Singapore-based digital finance platform that just disbursed MYR 300 million in Sharai compliant business financing to over 2,500 MSMEs in Malaysia since 2023. This achievement underscores the increasing demand for Islamic financial products in Malaysia, a global leader in Islamic finance. Meta CTO Andrew Boz Bosworth started on a California horse ranch and met Mark Zuckerberg at Harvard, where he was a teaching assistant for an AI course. Wow, this connection shaped their futures. Joining Facebook in 2006, Bosworth developed the platform's first news feed. That's quite an inspirational story. And finally, OpenAI has launched Search GPT. It's a new search feature aimed at providing timely answers to user queries, positioning it to compete with established search engines like Google and Bing, as well as AI-powered newcomers like Perplexity. SearchGPT uses OpenAI's advanced language models to offer a conversational search experience. Would you use this? And if you have, let us know how your experience was in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that we can keep bringing you top tech news from Southeast Asia. See you tomorrow.